Hey guys, this is Sean with Integrity Ranch. We just got the uh, sheep and goats moved over to this side over here, across the fence. We got the reels rolled up over there, made a big gap, got all the babies, you know, make a big old gap, the babies will all come through. We haven't had any babies for a couple weeks now, so they all they all follow their mom really good now, and it makes it, it makes your moves a lot easier once you get about two, three weeks from the, the last baby you had born. Show you guys our, uh, this is our dog feeder here. This is what we've had to rig up to get keep the goats out. It's not exactly the prettiest, but it gets the job done. Clint's gonna move the feeders over while I do a little video here, so. Okay, bud, you can move the feeder. Clint's pretty handy. He's five years old and he can move my feeders for me, open gates, check on minerals for me while I'm doing the other stuff. Get these little young young kids out on the land and they love it. He he wants to come with me every time I'm going to do animals. He loves coming, he doesn't mind working. He'll get hot and tired sometimes and stuff, but that's uh pretty expected. But most of the time he doesn't he doesn't want to do anything but just come with me. Shoot a little video of this fence line, so kind of show you guys. The difference in between cows and sheep and sheep and goats a lot of this was the goats but like those are all tree tree sprouts <clears throat> this uh this field we haven't been able to run the sheep and goats on until last august and it's june per, like first of june here so this field had trees of, they were some of them were five foot tall you know so we brush hogged it this we ran sheep on it last fall and then brush hogged it sheep and goats brush hogged it this uh winter and now we're getting we're gonna get these trees under control without having to brush hog it without starting up that tractor but this is you know you can't see any sprouts on this side and over here those are all tree sprouts and you know it's not that this got grazed that hard and they even left I mean, you aren't, you're not going to kill off the tree sprouts in the first go-round. But all year of doing this, now that we have our fences set up, we can rotate through here all the time. There's still a lot of grass left in here. <clears throat> and that's what they chose to eat. So that's pretty, pretty cool. When you can get these tree sprouts all taken care of. Without starting up your tractor or doing anything like that. Um... This section, this paddock here, doesn't have any any water in it. And so, this is what we do, and we just do this on the sheep and goats because they their water intake is so little that this works out pretty cool. Um, kids are sitting up on a truck to stay away from the ticks. The wife there. This will last our herd a week. It's a 275-gallon IBC tote. You can buy these adapters that screw into them with a garden hose. And then you just rig up a float. Um, that's not probably the best float, but it works. And then you just a little tub there and that keeps them all watered. Their water intake is pretty small. And so they're pretty easy to water. I wouldn't want to do that with cows because you'd have to haul a lot of water, but this one tank will last them a week. So, just refill it on the weekends and it's pretty easy. We uh, just barely cut down all these trees on Friday. It's Sunday and we did this on Friday. Trying to kind of clear this hill off, up a little bit and get... Even if we just get tree sprouts growing up there, there'll be more than what's up there. And so... So we'll be able to have a little more grazing. And they just, they take the leaves off of it when you cut them down. So even with cutting all these trees down, they, and, you know, having a lot of grass, they've still, they've still, you know, took out all these little saplings out in the field. I'm going to hook Clint up so he can take another loop. 
course, normally I, you could back up, but he doesn't know how to back up, so. All right, take another loop, son. It's uh, locked in first gear, so he can't go very fast, and there's not much out here for him to hit, so. Great practice for him. He'll be, a, be one heck of a driver when he gets older. But yeah, even with cutting down all these trees, they were in here for four days. Cutting down the trees and the amount of saplings out in this field, this this is covered in those saplings all the way out here. I mean, at any given point, you can look down and find, like that one didn't get hammered too hard. These are little tree saplings. I mean, I should show you right there. But they took in most of the leaves off, and so, about two years of doing that, you know, you're rotating through through this field, you know, all summer. This is just the beginning for this field because we just got fences put up last summer. So we started rotating through here in the fall. And by then the trees were about five foot tall and it's hard to get on top of them. We brush hogged them down this winter and now we're going to stay on top of them. Pretty good bear spot here. We're going to stay on top of them with the sheep and goats and hopefully not have to brush hog, you know. Maybe every couple of years you could go and brush hog if you're not getting all the way on top of them, but with the goats in the sheep herd, from, from what we've seen, you can completely eliminate brush hogging. If you had just sheep, I don't think you could get there when you have this this much uh, tree sprouts coming up. This, this field is covered in tree sprouts, so be hard for the sheep to get on top of that by themselves. They even left a lot of clover with the amount of leaves they've had, you know. So that's pretty cool because you would not you would not see clover left in a field like this with cows. If they were in here for very long, that clover would be gone. Clint just dropped the feeder off over there. So now he's got both feeders moved for me. He can help me roll those rails back up. He's he's a boss at running a running a rail and pegs. He makes it happen. But for people with kids, you get them out here, hanging out with you, make it fun for them. They'll love doing it. They'll be your best little helper. You don't have to be your your boys either. Hi, Hi sweetie. Zaylee loves coming to do the cows too. Leora, where you at? You like coming to do the cows? Yeah. You don't like the cows? What about the sheep and goats? Mm. Do you like them because they're so cute? Yeah. yeah. Sheep and goats will be happy over here. We'll keep them here a couple days and we'll move them to the next section. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hit that subscribe button if you would and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it.